Right, I'm joined with Alfie Devine here outside Vale Park. Alfie, it's a, it's a great battle, you know. 3-3 three, three draw, it's a great game. So as a player, do you enjoy those types of games or is it very nerve-wracking for you? Um, no, you do enjoy them, but it's even better when, when you win afterwards. And I think we uh, we threw away too many too many goals today. And credit to all the lads, to be fair, because I think coming down three times yeah. and bringing it back take, takes a lot of courage as well, especially with the amount of games that, that we've had and I know the squad is is pretty thin right now but I think all the lads today were, were superb um, to come back. Shows the character like like you touched upon as well to three goals uh, down, Chizzy scores a penalty, makes it 1-1, then it's 2-1 and then it's, uh, who, scored the, the, who scored the next one? Uh, yeah. Gav scored, no Gav scored the third one, Uchi scored the second one, then Gav, you know, to, to come back three times it shows the mental character that we've got in this team. No, yeah, definitely. That. Like I just said, it's um. Um, no, like I said, it's credit to all of them, especially all the goal scorers as well. I thought they all took took the goals uh, very well tonight. Um, you know, you, you've had a shot on the edge of the box, hit must have been a good 120, 130 kilometres an hour, and the keeper pulled out a worldie of a save. How frustrating is that for you as a player? You know, you've done absolutely everything right and then to be denied by some heroics, it must be so frustrating. Um, yeah, no, it is. When, when I've hit it, it's took a little deflection. I'm thinking, this is going in, this, and somehow he's um, he's put, put his left arm back and saved it. And to be fair to me, it's a great save, isn't it? That, yeah. That's the first thing I thought, I thought, how has he saved that? But like I said, I think we did have enough chances in the end to, to win the game, but I think... You know, you when you it, when you yeah. when you score three goals, you you're expected to to win the game, and I think that's what we're sort of lacking at the moment. I think we went through a patch of not scoring. Now we are scoring, and mm -hmm. we're not sort of keeping the clean sheets. But I think I think I think that'll come. Alfie, thank you, mate. Top man, well Cheers, played. Mate. Cheers. Right, we're outside Vale Park and joined with Terrell Thomas. Terrell, you know, from a Charlton point of view, it's not the best, you know, it's not the best game, but a point on the road, you've got to be happy with it. Yeah, yeah, we take the point and uh, we move on to uh, next week Saturday. You know, as a, as a player, you know, you, as you said, you come on, are you happy with your performance? Oh yeah, I came on and assisted a goal, and, but the main thing is that the result, and we unfortunately couldn't see it out, but um, it's all learning curve, and... We move on, we go to the next game. OK, and when you score that third goal, you know, at that point you think you've won the game, you're jumping in the crowd, the, you know, what, what, like, as a player, how is that feeling? Describe that, because it must be something you can't top. Yeah, it's a surreal feeling. There's nothing really else in, in life that can give you that. I remember when I was a player at Wimbledon and I scored a last-minute header against Portsmouth, like, there's nothing else that can give you that feeling. It's, it's amazing. But, um, yeah, you can't really... Yeah, there's nothing else really in life that, 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 that gives you that feeling, so it's, you've got to cherish it while it happens. So, uh, thank you so much, Cheers, mate. Yeah. Cheers, thank what you, you OK, I'm joined with Gavin Massey. Gavin, a hard-fought draw, 3-3, three, three, six-goal thriller. It, it, you know, I asked Alfie, is it one that you enjoy as a player? Is it one that you don't enjoy? He said you enjoy it. Is that the same for you? Yeah, you enjoy, you enjoy them sort of games. Um, it had similarities to the Wigan game, I felt. We was really good today, um, offensively really good. We always looked like we could score. But yeah, they're the games you want to play in as a footballer because um, it ebbs and flows and everything. Obviously, it's teetering on whether you're going to win the game, lose the game or draw. But then fortunately, we got the point. Obviously, we're disappointed because um, it felt like we dropped two points, but we take the positives and move on. As an attacking wing back yourself, you know, you're facing some of the best defenders in the league. Michael Hector, who's played in the Premier League, just to name one. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do you, do, how do you, you know, do your homework? How do you prepare for that? Well, they're really good here. Um, they, they, give you, they give you really detailed um, work here, so you know who you're coming up against. We work on it throughout the whole week. And I think today, obviously, I was up against a nippy winger, so I knew I had to be on my A game to, to nullify his chances and everything. But not just me, I think the team as well, everyone's done their homework, obviously we're disappointed, like I said, we've conceded three poor goals really, but to come back every, each time to get a goal, to bring it back to level, bring it back to level, and then really look like kind of the only team that could win the game um, is a positive, so like I said, we take that, we take the positives and we move on and it's ready next week.
and talk us through that goal. I mean, <laughs> na- was it 93rd, 94th minute? You just curled it round the keeper. And you're not much of a celebrator <laughs> yourself, but you, you've got to have felt just that little bit of, oh, come on, we scored. You know, you're not the celebrator, but. You know what? It was actually like, it still feels a bit weird now because everyone in the change room was like, what a goal. Like, what did you do and everything? To be fair, it like the keeper came up to me as well at the end of the game and he said, is it you who scored? And I said, yeah. And he said, <laughs> I just couldn't see it, and I there was it was it was a nice finish, one of my better goals. Um, I used the defender to bend it round him, and everyone. I think the whole stadium was just shocked because it was just like it was just dead quiet for like a moment because it was just it happened so quick, and I think the ball just went in the net in slow motion. So, um, for on a personal note, obviously I'm really happy to get that goal, but um, we just move on now. I know hopefully just crack on next weekend. I feel like we've been. I know we've dropped some points the last couple of games and everything in this run but I think it's 11 points from the last maybe f- six games or something and it's a positive so we know where we want want to achieve this season so we just got to keep going on. And does this show to the fans you know the mental character that you are you know as a team we face some stick uh, and you know to come back like that I know it hasn't always been so flowery for you especially mm-hmm. at Port Vale does it show the mental character that you are that you've stuck at it and you've got your reward and hopefully you can keep on scoring more goals now yeah definitely and obviously fans are entitled to their opinion um, but on a team like what we do every day we know that we're a group of brothers in there and we know that we'll work and die for each other and there so Obviously, Matt, it's, it's an opinion. It's an opinionated sport, and there's nothing you can do about that. But like I said, we know what we do on a day-to-day basis, and to come back, like I said, to show that fighting spirit today, just proves what proves what football's all about. So, like I said, we we can't, we will never have no um, <laughs> like moans or anything of what people say about us and everything. It's part and parcel of being a footballer. Mm-hmm. But like when you show that attitude, like we did today, then it sh- should. To tell everyone that like we do care and we just move on from now. Gavin, enjoy the moment, Top man, mate. mate. Top man. Take See, care. You See you later. Pal. We're out. We're outside Vale Park and joining Corey Black. It's here, like Corey. You know, not the greatest result for you, but you know, on a, on a personal perspective, it must be a great performance, and yet you, you you should be pleased with it. Yeah, um, I feel like I'm happy that I got got the goal. Um, I thought that going into half time, we could have. Uh, Gone at least be leading into half time, giving us a better chance for second half. But individually, yeah, I was happy with my goal and the performance. But um, overall, I think we could have probably seen out the result and probably got a got a win. Definitely, obviously, we've conceded and let um, Port Vale come back into it, and something that we've struggled with the last couple of weeks. So, yeah. And talk through your goal. You know, obviously, you're a very quick player. You're facing one of our defenders who's quite quick in himself. You've managed to get past him. A nice, neat little finish. So talk us through it from your perspective. Um, yeah, so I seen, I kind an- of anticipated the ball getting flicked on, and then I just noticed that there was going to be a gap if the ball landed in that um, area. So as, as soon as I seen it kind of land in that area, I went onto it, um, controlled it, had a good first touch, and then I just tried to slide it in, and um, happily enough, it went in. And you know, you know when you when you go three two up, even two one up, you think at that point you've won the game. You know, you're jumping in with the crowd. Talk through that as as a player. What's that like? What's that feeling like? It must be something you can't top. Yeah, obviously the emotions go high. Like when you see the ball go back in, the, even if I don't score, like I'm happy with my teammates scoring and like I can see the expression in their face. So, like obviously the fans always help as well. And it's a massive. Um, it's massive for like them being behind the goal when we score, and obviously the emotions are high and they're you run towards them it feels good but um, obviously we always feel better when we actually win the game so and what was the gaffer's words at half time and full time and what was the contrast in them um, yeah I think um, he, what he said was to kind of continue the um, first half performance and second half and then we win the game the game takes care of itself but um, I feel like we did but then we just let ourselves down at the end with the goal so Corey yeah. thank you so much mate thank you so much